on the paper two, which is geography of India, the very first section. Now we would be discussing the kind of questions which have been asked. Climate change, one of the most important topics, most expected topics, has unsettled the rhythm of seasons. We have to bring in examples and evidences. Now we have lots of separate lectures that we have developed on the same line. For example, you can refer our lecture on cloud bursts. You can refer the lecture on heat domes. You can refer the lecture on the case studies of Vanatu, which we have discussed, and many more. So those are some of just uh, the sightings that I remember as of now. Now all these basically are explaining extreme heat waves. Uh, then we have the coastal impacts, extreme hot and weather phenomena, uh, unexpected rainfalls, cloud bursts, avalanches, increasing uh, rising temperatures, rising uh, sea levels. Uh, then we have uh, uh, various factors which have been impacting not only the growing seasons, the spring coming much more earlier, the monsoon seasons getting delayed are all these uh, some of the examples that we explain under climate changes and the unsettled rhythm of the season. So those are the things that you need to incorporate. The examples have been cited in the respective videos. The next is crop residue management. Very, very important. And this is one of the ways to curb pollution. Recently, CSIR and the associated labs have been working on the stubble burning, the issue of stubble burning, which is re leading to rising pollutions in the region of Delhi NCR. And how this crop residue management can actually be uh, benefit beneficial for the farmers and also reduce the pollution. So we understand that various villages collect the crop residues and this could be classified either as a crop residue briquet or a char briquet. Now char briquet could be used in the hotels and the dhabas. However, crop residues can be used for ethanol plants. Briquet can be used for industrial cleans and power points. So those uh, power plants. So those are some of the ways through which we can use it. Now here is the amount of residue which is generated and the surplus residues across the street. So while writing your answers, you can pick some of the states which are actually uh, having higher values uh, in contrast to states which have a significantly lower values and then compare and contrast the results. Whenever I'm saying use data, use the statistics, that does not mean you have to write down the whole state-wise analysis. You have to just give in a compare and contrast picture where you can bring in extreme values on one end and the other extreme values and explain. So burning of the... Uh, um, crop residue definitely should be prevented alternate ways should be uh, introduced so this crop residue could be used in paper manufacturing industry board panels being manufactured more awareness to be generated among the people to stop this stubble burning and then a uh, proper implementation using this uh, char as a crop cover is again one of the ways through which it can be used this is one of the topics that we had extensively covered in down to earth the crop residue management so refer the lecture of down to earth very very important the next is, has regional aspiration of people of Jammu Kashmir been addressed through the reorganization? So definitely when the reorganization was done, this regional division actually brought in uh, a way to unite the people of a common linguistic basis, a common uh, regional basis, a uh, religion basis under one head. So people mainly speaking Buddhist and Ladakhi uh, uh, were part of the Ladakh region and uh, then we had the separate regions of Jammu and Kashmir which have been separated. Uh, this we have covered in our lecture specifically on article 370 so very very important. The next is identify the areas under tribal sub plan. So initially there were 17 states and 2 UTs which were part of it. Now 23 states across which we have the tribal programs running and the list of the states and the major areas of North which have been declared as tribal areas have been mentioned. Now, there are various programs, centrally sponsored programs, state programs, for example, special grants, special initiatives, special hostels being established, scholarships being provided, finance schemes, uh, institutes of excellence being established. Then we have marketing of minor forest produce, for example, in the Northeast, bamboo and allied activities to be developed, projects coming in from World Bank, strengthening of the existing institutions are some of the ways through which we actually boost the tribal areas. Now, this is a very, very standard, very, very basic question. You have to simply address all the types of soil. So we broadly classify it as alluvial, laterite, black soil, red soil, 
सेलाइन सॉइल डेजर्ट सॉइल एंड हिली एरिया सॉइल सो दोज आर द मेजर क्लासिफिकेशन दैट यू वुड हैव टू डू एंड विद इन दिस क्लासिफिकेशन यू वुड हैव टू एक्सप्लेन द मिनरल एंड द केमिकल कंपोजिशन द कलर एंड द स्पेसिफिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वेरी स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड दिस वॉज इन लाइट ऑफ द कोविड पैंडमिक द फार्मास्यूटिकल ऑफ कंपनीज ऑफ इंडिया एक्चुअली इम्पोर्ट द रॉ मटीरियल एंड वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द इंडिया चाइना रिलेशनशिप फॉर दिस नाउ If our relationship deteriorates, most of the ingredients of the pharma company, which we call as APIs, the active pharmaceutical ingredients, are actually imported from China. And if there is a rising tension, we could see a loss of the import among these. APIs and this could be detrimental to our pharma industry. Though India is one of the largest manufacturers of vaccine in the world, most of the API or the active ingredients actually are obtained from uh, the regions of China. Now, India government should materialize a policy to begin the production of raw material. Patents should be brought into the country. Uh, medical diplomacy should actually be. uh checked quick clearances should be provided so those are some of the ways through which we can strengthen our own pharma industry the next is india has opened private sector for satellite based activities now what are the security concerns so far isro was the only act, uh, active organization being involved for research and development related to space research all the routine activities the vendor supplies models were part of the isro chain however the private companies once allowed would bring in more development more thrust more newer technologies better exploration of missions can be brought and there can be uh, more development which can be cited however it comes along with its own drawbacks what could be the drawbacks here the drawbacks are basically uh rather than government we have the data shared with private so there are security concerns so security is one of the major issues which we address here sometimes missile powers and missile technologies which is available in the private hands could be dangerous uh domination of the market forces would play a major role there could be higher prices resulting in lower access for the poor class and the middle class for the basic facilities which are now available for or public good also uh, government owned uh, organizations actually control and uh, supervise the concepts much more better the next is identify oil seed producing areas in india and how to promote the edible oil industry so first of all we look onto the consumption pattern our consumption has always been more than our production and this gap has been significantly increasing in the coming years in order to check those we have various states for example uh, gujarat is one of the major producers of groundnut uh, we have states like rajasthan which uh, leads in mustard and rape seed uh, then we have uh, um, uh, madhya pradesh haryana which also produce good amount of rape seed and uh, mustard seeds the idea is to enhance productivity increase the seed production increase uh more of oil content so low cost technology should be used with higher impact reasonable investment should lead to higher crop yield and uh, more strategies to strengthen it so technology mission on oil seeds is one of the ways through which we are promoting it so discuss more about it now the geographical account of the changing rural folk houses in india here we need to address the types of houses be it the region of far uh, desert area in rajasthan be it the mountainous terrains be it the region of northeast how different materials are being used in creation of house for example in uh, most of the areas of rajasthan you would see flat mud houses however if you go to northeast you would see bamboo houses in the um, in the hilly areas you would see wooden houses so how geographical region basically changes the housing and the dwelling patterns and this is one of the topics that we have covered separately in a uh, lecture border area development 
again one of the very important priorities border guarding forces the various schemes for convergence the projects must be evaluated timely infrastructure must be built fencing across the border should be done on a regular basis training of the farmers should be uh, done for more uh, development uh, in terms of organic farming in the border areas uh, promotion of sports activities in the border areas border tourism can be another new venture uh, launching in helipads are some of the steps which can be done in the northeast specifically closer to the borders of arunachal pradesh we are focusing on developments uh, specifically for strategic purpose so bogibil bridge and then we have connections of arunachal pradesh with assam as some of the examples bringing in roads bridges health infrastructures are some of the indicators of making our border areas much more strong now this is one of the separate lectures that we have covered on mal nutrition very very important class uh, we have also talked about the differences between wasting and stunting in one of the lectures now this is a consequence of food insecurity how government schemes can address this for example under the government scheme we had the mid day meals scheme which was however stopped because of the pandemic but the national security uh, mission the national nutrition security mission the poshan abhiyan then we have integrated child development uh, services we also focus on maternal and child health care uh, so those are some of the uh, important indicators which provide how uh, the food insecurity problem needs to be addressed providing nutritional supplements uh, folic acid supplements iron supplements uh, adolescent girl child development of them so those are some of the ideas we need to address here and the last question here is on the essential commodity bill 2020 uh, aims to deregulate the production supply and distribution now this should be examined in special consequences a very very important topic all the three farm bills again important for this year as well so you have to analyze the positive impact of the essential commodity bill and the negative impact as well so under the positive impact you would say it would boost the farmers income it would bring in more freedom more investment for cold storage uh, create a open market competitive market however on the negative side you would address the problems of rising inequalities rising poverty uh, then you would address some of the uh, stuffs like uh, let's say pulses onions uh, are part of the essential commodities now government which is not regulating the supply of these food items can lead to more of hoarding and this hoarding would lead to price rise inflation could uh, jump in there could be large number of players which could actually hoard in and a big businessman could bring in a devastation for Uh, the agriculture we have seen similar examples with cocoa plantation in ghana and we have seen how the implications have been far far detrimental so those are some of the view points that you would have to bring in this answer so as i always mention it's not required that with every answer you bring in a diagram you bring in a map but yes wherever possible and wherever apt just introduce a relative picture a kind of table a kind of summary which can substantiate your answer which can make your answer much more impressive much more uh, better and create your own unique way of writing definitely we do have the answers for those these questions available at the doorstep website a lot of students definitely go for it but again those should be just a reference point bring in your own originality your own creative thoughts and points while you are writing the answer. Answer and practice. The more you practice, the better you perform. So it's uh, right and right. Uh, and we definitely do the evaluation. So if you have uh, any questions, any doubts on how to write, what to write, what to include, what to exclude, we are always there to help you. Wish you a very good luck with your preparation. Have a wonderful day ahead.